Shalom, shalom, and sha'Allah. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Arabia, so teach them real well. And peace, love, and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Honor, brother Yaakov, prophet in Babylon, Sarasota, which is a branch of the prophets in Babylon, Tampa Church. Shalom to those brothers. And today, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I'm back with Lord willing and edify less to feed the sheep. Salakia. And edify less to feed the sheep who believe on those names in truth and in sincerity. Shalom to those brothers. All right. And um hey today, man, I'm back. You know, Lord edify lesson once again. Um today's lesson is going to how, you know, um the leaders of this people, all right, the leaders of Israel, okay, caused them to err. All right, and who will be in that leadership position of Israel is um these celebrities, all right? These celebrities, which was set up by Esau Edom, causes Jake to err. And what you have right here on the screen is on the bottom, which is uh, Sneeko, which he promotes, you know, masculinity and things of that nature. And, you know, um, basically, he like a red pill guy, all right? And um, on the top, you have this uh, Israelite woman by the name of, by the stage name of Sexy Red. Okay, and what's about to come out of her mouth is straight wickedness. You know, so I'm going to let you listen to it. And um, I, th I just thought it was, you know, I thought it was class worthy. So we're going to go into it today, man. And uh, Lord will us edify it. Lost my virginity and turned into a hoe. Every single line is written to destroy society. This girl, Sexy Red, is just a puppet for these labels. She doesn't write any of these lyrics. We'll give you $3 million over several years. Say these lines into a microphone over an 808. You'll make a lot of money. The people who really profit are the people behind the scenes. She's just a puppet for Satan. And the, the cope from these rappers is always like, they hating on me because I'm up. No, the reason that people hate you is because you are doing satan's bidding literally everything you're doing is programming people to become worse and to commit evil Coochie juice and, and he's right he's absolutely right all right especially the so-called black woman which satan okay on the earth is none other than the so-called white man and what she's doing is satan's bidding to destroy her own people man all right you don't see uh you don't see you know, Edomite, you know, female artists rapping about losing their virginity and turning into hoes. You don't see that. You only see it with our people because there is an agenda being pushed onto our people to further destroy us. But without further ado, you know, I'm, I'm going to hop into this lesson dealing with what she said. She said, I lost my virginity and turned into a hoe. And Esau knows that music is a huge part of our heritage, man. He knows that, you know, music is a huge part of Jake. So what he does is he tampers with it and, and, and mix it, all right, mixes it um, and put wickedness on it, you know. And Jake goes out here and listens to it. And it's going to be some young girl out there that ain't lose her virginity yet. And she's going to listen to this and she's going to think it's okay to become a hoe once she loses her virginity, all right. That's just straight wickedness, man. But this is what this is what Earth has turned, uh, c came to, Salakia. This is the book of Isaiah 9 and verse 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. Right? So the leaders of this people, you know, Jake, all right, you know, Jake leaders is none other than these celebrities that's on the big screen, that's on the media that's being pushed out onto them. Um, like NBA Youngboy, you know, Kodak Black, Drake, 21 Savage, you know, so on and so forth. And then you have, you know, puppets that are set up for the women, like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, you know, Rihanna, Beyonce, all these women, uh, you got the city girls, all these women that are set up to destroy the women, all right, and they push out uh, degeneracy, they push out, you got the men pushing out the vibration of killing one another, you know, sleeping with one another's wives, all right, uh, robbing and killing each other, like I said earlier. Selling drugs to your own people. You see, that was set up for Jake. All right, the, the Israelite men. And then you have the women, what? 
they're set up to be whores. Uh, you know. Get that head, get that bread and leave culture. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, you got Cardi B that was uh, bragging about how she drugged men and took their money, you know, which is witchcraft. All right. I don't cook. I don't clean. But I got that ring. You got Beyonce that's talking about how she's a single lady, even though was, even though at the time she made that song, she was with Jay-Z. You see? So, and then you got this new girl right here, uh, Sexy Red. You know what I'm saying? Saying what? I lost my virginity and turned into a hoe. Which, once you lose your virginity to a man, you are that man's husband. And I'm going to prove that with this. This is Genesis 29 and verse 20. It says, so Jacob worked seven years to pay for Rachel, but his love for her was so strong that it seemed to him a few days. All right. So Jacob, our forefather, Jacob, you know, in the ancient world, you know, you were um, woman were nothing more than transactions. You know, you you, you were uh, either work. OK, to become a husband of that woman or you will you, you will pay for, her. you know, you will work out an agreement with the father. But it goes on to say, finally, the time came for him to marry her. All right. So finally, the time came for him to marry her. It says, I have fulfilled my agreement. Now, Jacob said to Laban, now give me my wife so I can sleep with her. All right. So that's how that's what marriage is. Marriage is uh, a man and a woman. Well, a man sleeping with a woman and taking away her virginity. So it says, now give me my wife so I can sleep with her. And that's when you become a man's wife is when he takes your virginity. All right. So Sexy Red saying that I lost my virginity and turned into a hoe. She's doing nothing more than promoting adultery. All right. That is adultery, man. Once a man sleeps with you and takes your virginity, you are bound unto that man unto death. Okay. There is there were there was no boyfriend and girlfriend culture going back in ancient Israel, man. There wasn't a such thing as boyfriend and girlfriend. No, you were old. there wasn't no such thing as dating. All right. All that dating and boyfriend and girlfriend, that's that's nothing more than whorish culture. In the ancient world, you were you were prepped to be a wife. You were prepped to be a a, a, a help me unto a man for the rest of your days. It wasn't no such thing as you a woman, you know, going around and seeing who she like best fit for her. She, you know, she go date this guy and she, she sleeps with him and then she don't like him that much the next day. And then she goes sleeps with another guy and she don't like him. You know, she does that for the next 10 years. And then finally, when she's 35, 38 years old, now it's time for her to settle down. No, it wasn't like that back then, man. You were prepped and, and, and adorned, all right, to be given unto a man. And you will be with that man for the rest of your days. Okay. But in this society, or pursuant to prophecy, the Lord said, what? Uh, Thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. You see? And we didn't give our, you know, woman liberty to get abroad. That's what scripture says that. Uh, in fact, got to fix it up right quick. This is... Uh, Sirach 25, verse 25, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gather abroad, right? That's, and this is what happens when you get women the liberty to gather abroad. You get women like Sexy Red, Cardi B, all right, Nicki Minaj's, you know, whores, all right, of women. And then they're on the big screen. And what you think women that's going to, you know, Jake is so docile and simple, they're going to look out for these people, you see? Oh, wow. You know, Nicki Minaj, you know, OK, I guess it's cool to do this. I guess it's cool to be a hoe. Well, in all reality, they're setting you up for judgment from Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. All right. Let's go back. <clears throat> I'm going to get this right quick. Uh, all right. This is uh This is Isaiah three and verse eight. It says, For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because of their tongues and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of his glory. The shoe of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom, they hide it not, woe unto their souls, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Right? So the Lord said, Hey look, 
the shoe of their countenance does what is against them. All right, so your own your own words, all right, your own sins are going to testify against you. All right, it says they declare their sin of Sodom, they hide it not. And that's what she did. She declared her sin of Sodom and she hide it not. Let's play it. Lost my virginity and turned into a hoe. Lost my virginity and turned into a hoe with her tongue out. Okay. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. And that's how scripture says, hey, uh, rise up, you women that are at ease. Okay. So right now, you in the you in the mentality of, you know, it's okay for me to be a hoe. I have liberty to be a hoe. All right. But hey, all that all that soon is gonna backfire on you. Like uh the elder the elder Malcolm always bring out. You know, from Chicago, he says, you know, you always ride in a cock carousel, but soon the cock carousel is going to ride you. All right. So this is this is utterly wicked, man. This is this is complete wickedness. And this is why you how about Shema Shai is going to destroy America, man. All right. This is why he's going to destroy America. And this is why he's going to destroy two thirds of his own people because of this music and, and, and the promotion of abomination, the, the promotion of wickedness in the earth. All right. The Lord said the whole head is sick. All right. The whole head is sick. You know, from uh Judah. Uh what it says, you know, that the whole head is sick. From the head to the soul. <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter one and verse four. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart is faint. <clears throat> Salakia. The whole head is sick and the whole heart is faint. From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it but wounds and bruises and petrifying sores. They have not been clothed, neither bound up. Neither mollify with ointment, right? From the sole of the foot even unto the head. From Issachar unto Judah and, and un, unto Judah to Issachar, man. All the tribes are sick, all right, for the most part. They're all stuck in this continuation of wickedness. And the Lord is going to put an end to it when he come back and bring that nuclear fire, man. <clears throat> so you think Sexy Red going to get beamed up into a chariot for promoting wickedness and adultery unto the Lord's people? Hell no, man. The Lord gonna require the Lord gonna require that of her in that day. All right. Sukihana, you know, uh uh promote the promotion of eating another man's ass. You know, that's complete fucking wickedness, man. You got uh uh who else? Who else you got? You know, you brothers know him, man, you know. But it's it's, it's complete wickedness. All right. And he saw Edom has set these women up, the the so called black woman up. To further destroy her nation. You're doing nothing more than further, further destroying your own nation. That's why the Lord be killing these rappers, man. All right. You, you uh, uh, the Lord uh, killed over a thousand rappers in the last, you know, three years, bro. You know, a hundreds of thousands of rappers just been dropping dead. The Lord's been killing the, killing the ass, man. <clears throat> because of the wickedness they're promoting. You see. And she and she she may be next. You know, but this is complete weakness, man. All right. And they're doing they're doing the bidding of Satan. You know. So. This is a quick lesson through the spirit, man. I'm not going to make this super long, but. uh, I'm going to close out by giving all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh. By Shimei Awashai. Until next time I say Shalom.